We came away from this experience feeling that Landers had taken a possibility, a possible uh, set of interactions and turned it into a probability. It now looked to us like this kind of earthquake interaction was likely. Landers was a scientific breakthrough. It gave the most dramatic evidence of how one big quake could trigger another. The Landers was really a landmark event in giving us this incredible data set that showed us how different uh, large earthquakes interact and letting us explore the mechanism of this interaction in detail. It was the best example so far of how the transfer of stress could trigger a large aftershock. However, it did not show how one event could set off larger earthquakes across longer periods of time. It did not prove the existence of an earthquake storm. To show this, scientists had to test their model on somewhere even more dangerous than the San Andreas Fault. Turkey is in one of the major earthquake zones of the world. Here, millions of people live under the threat of one of the most treacherous faults on the planet. The North Anatolian Fault slices through the top of the country for over a thousand kilometers. For centuries, earthquakes along this fault have torn the region apart. In the last hundred years alone, it has claimed the lives of nearly a hundred thousand people. Seismologist Jalal Shengur knows it as well as any. The North Anatolian Fault seems to display a cyclic behavior. It looks as if earthquakes start at the east, they migrate west, then there's a period of quiescence. It starts again, migrates west, there's another period of quiescence. This pattern, heading from east to west, attracted earthquake hunters from around the world. Among them was Jeff King, he became fascinated by a study of the fault that suggested these earthquakes might be triggering each other. 